playing the greatest PS early PS4 game. Yep. Speedrun tries to use the stairs. <laughs> yep. Probably. Oof. Heart's pounding. I love that feeling. Alright, anything cool over here? Now are you doing Roxas? Hope you're having a good day. Now we can pick up like anything. Hmm. Doing pretty good. Kind of want to pick up the cleaver. Maybe the pistol? But oh, we can always do that later. Where's our doll at? Hey, boo boo. I'm home. Ah. Uh. Welcome home, good hunter. What is it you desire? Very well. Let the echoes become your strength. Let me stand close. I think what I'm gonna do is do like 15, 15, then 20 in endurance, and like go back and forth. Or should I do like just straight endurance? Let's just go 20 endurance and then we'll start leveling up vitality. Farewell, may you f We have a thousand five hundred left. We could buy like one thing. Do the cleaver. to try it out no I honestly have no idea what I'm doing I'm just going through it you know for the first time so just gonna see what weapon I like and just play that way probably just try and uh, do 2020 vitality and endurance and then when I find a weapon I like maybe focus on those stats for a bit. Uh, let's switch to Cleaver. use either skill or blunt blood tinge yeah that's why I'm not like gonna focus on any of the stats I mean I know probably if this is anything like demon souls that the hard cap for endurance and vitality is gonna be like in the 40s 40 range so you know as I can put points into there and just kind of no, I won't be wasting anything. And then if I find a weapon that requires like a certain stat or whatever, then I'll work on that. The Bergenworth spider hates all manners of rituals and keeps our lost master from us. A terrible shame, it makes my head shudder uncontrollably. Ooh. 
Blood gem workshop tool. Does that mean I can start upgrading some weapons? be a hunter. Very sorry. The incense must have masked your scent. Good, good. I've been waiting for one of your ilk. These hunts have everyone all locked up inside, waiting for it to end. It always does, always has, you know, since forever. But it won't end nicely, not this time. Even some folks hiding inside are going by it. The screams of women folk, the stench of blood, the snarls of beasts, none of them's too uncommon now. Yarnum's done for, tell ya. But if you spot anyone with their wits about them, tell them about this here Erden Chapel. They'll be safe here. The incense wards off the beasts. Spread the word. Tell them to come on over. Oh. If you wouldn't mind. <laughs> Oh, you think it goes above the 40 cap? Yeah, uh, when I start... <laughs> I think it's the light. Like, it's not catching my eyebrow very much. Actually, I forgot to turn on this light in general. But, um... Yeah, the eyebrow starts twitching. Um, I think I, that lady was looking for a place to go. Maybe we can just go back to her real quick. So, hey lady, I found a place for you real nice like. I don't know if I like this cleaver actually. I think the uh, spear was a little bit better. But we'll keep going with it for right now. It's actually probably easier to go the other shortcut as opposed to this one. Forty or fifty what? Stamina or endurance?
mean, I can't imagine like it would require much more than 40 endurance or vitality to beat the game. Like, The game is pretty generous with stamina, so. I mean, I might not even level vitality, honestly, because. It'll save you like one or two hits, probably. But I mean, if you can just dodge everything, you don't have to worry about it. I might just go 20 endurance and then see what weapons I like. Like I'm not using a guide or any build or anything like that. I'm just swinging it. God, this controller is so broke. I think I'm going the right way for that chick. She was near the dogs. So I wonder if that um, the girl with the music box, or the boy, I don't know if it was a girl or boy, but I wonder if they have uh, new dialogue now. I'm trying to think of where that was.
this is not it. This was a different one. I'm afraid, but the flame spray. I made no use of it, but perhaps you. <coughs> what afflicted me was incurable. Their strange blood. I was most. I can even die. Ah. Uh, this way. Get the other side of that gate. Anyway, let's just continue. I guess I could go back to, well no, this would just be as fast cut through, take the elevator back up. What have you been up to lately? Playing any games? Fucking shots. But anyway, I'll go through. Um, not that probably I'm gonna lose my blood if I go through the dream. But we'll try it anyway, I don't give a shit. Just wanna continue. Kinda wish you could just go to this and then. Instead of having to talk to the stone or whatever to go further. It's fine. The Blade of Mercy seems pretty cool. Use the fucking cane. Although now there's really no point in fighting them. Dude, you're 
fucking reaches is broken. back to the dream and see what we need to like level up weapons in general. Oh, he's back. The moon is close. It will be a long hunt tonight. If the beasts loom large and threaten to crush your spirits. Seek a holy chalice, as every hunter before you has. A holy chalice will reveal the tomb of the gods, where hunters partake in communion. Alright, All right, seriously, like, what do you need? fortification of weapons with blood gems. Oh, here we go. This whole time. Fortify weapons using blood gems. Blood gems imbue weapons with special characteristics. Okay. Fortify weapons using bloodstones. Just requires bloodstones and souls. Wow. 
Some thanks. Closed. It's down here. This has more defense on blood and arcane. That has less physical defense. Better against blunt. Let's go back to the uh, dream and then go make sure we go to the right portal, because I guess it doesn't update. spear.
specific wall. if the cane gets better than these weapons. At this point it really doesn't seem like it's worth it. And I guess maybe there's some mob groups where it's better because you can attack such a wide area. Send downstairs, down there. Sinned. You're a beast hunter, aren't you? I knew it. That's precisely how I started out. Oh, beg pardon. You may call me Alfred. Protégé of Master Ligarius. Hunter of vile bloods. So, what say you? Our prey might differ, but we are hunters, the both of us. Why not cooperate and discuss the things we've learned? Very good. Very good indeed. Take this to celebrate our acquaintance. Iron paper. Okay. Beast hunting is a sacred practice. May the good blood guide your way. There must be oodles for us to share. Go on. Just tell me what piques your interest. Talk about the healing church. As you know, the Healing Church is the fountainhead of blood healing. 
Well, I'm a simple hunter, quite unfamiliar with the ins and outs of the institution. But I have heard that the holy medium of blood healing is venerated in the main cathedral. And that counselors of the old church reside in the high stratum of the cathedral ward. If you seek blood healing, and the church is willing, you should pay them a visit. Talk about Bergenworth. Bergenworth is an old place of learning, and the tomb of the gods, carved out below Yarnum, should be familiar to every hunter. Well, once a group of young Bergenworth scholars discovered a holy medium deep within the tomb. This led to the founding of the Healing Church and the establishment of blood healing. In this sense, everything sacred in Yarnum can be traced back to Bergenworth. But today, the college lies deep within a tangled wood, abandoned and decrepit. And furthermore, the Healing Church has declared Bergenworth forbidden ground. It's unclear how many of its scholars remain alive, but only they know the password that allows passage through the Fidelium. gate. I bid you farewell. Fidelio. It has been a pleasure. May the good blood guide your way. Right? Password. Stone. Trophy. Turn. Guess we could uh, look at uh, leveling up a bit more and maybe upgrading a few of the weapons. I'll be uh, right back though, I just need a quick break. How have you been? Ah. Thanks, sick. Welcome home, good hunter. I must have <laughs> drifted off. What is it you desire? Very well. Let the echoes be let me on. So, uh, my face, I'm using filters, uh, based on the characters that I play with. 
So like, um, I have quite a few that I've made. So this is my Bloodborne character's face currently. Farewell, good hunter. Me. See if I can. Uh... So yeah. I just uh, took a screenshot of the face and um, loaded it up. But for other games, like uh, if I'm playing um, Fortnite and I want to play as like John Wick, I have the John Wick Fortnite skin face. So this is my cyberpunk character's face. Uh, if I'm playing Call of Duty, I have Woods. Um, see Nicholas Cage from Face Off. <laughs> it's just kind of like a joke one, but um, or Fortnite, and I want to play as Venom. I took Venom's face and uh, did that. When I play Death Stranding, I have um, God, I, I'm horrible with his name, but uh, Daryl Dixon, the actor that plays him have his face as well and they're pretty much like any game that I, I play where I play as a eight character I figured I'd um, take their face and um, put it on mine yeah the Death Stranding one is more realistic because it's at his actual face uh, the end game stuff since I haven't played it yet to take a screenshot of his face um, I don't have like a nice front facing picture yet, so I might either use his actual face like that or, um, re redo it with, uh, his in-game face. Not sure yet. I don't know which weapon I want to level up on this. This levels it up by nine. Per, I don't know. I guess the, uh, the perk is with skill. You get a higher skill increase. You're getting over 600 FPS. That's nuts. That's awesome, though. Glad you got everything uh, worked out for yourself. Maybe I'll just keep going with the base weapons for right now. Yeah, you need a new monitor that can keep up. Yeah. I'm trying to think of what monitor, what the max hertz for this monitor is that I have. I think it's 240. Yeah, it's a 240 hertz. But the, uh... Oh, shit. Accidentally put it in test mode real quick. Same problem on the test screen. No. Okay. Alright. <laughs> I've actually never done that before. Um... Sorry, Mark. But it's a 1080p monitor, it's not a 2K. Which I mean, I can only stream at 1080 anyway, so. Oh, I can't even go this way. Shit.
Yeah, computers are definitely a nice, like, nice way to play games. If you can, like, get a good one. Because um, I've just been running it, running everything off a laptop for like five years. Like however long I've had laptops, I've always just used laptops. I don't have, um, the last time I had a desktop PC was probably eight years ago. Something like that. Super old. So... I was thinking about, um... Upgrading and getting a, a desktop PC eventually. But I'd have to go, like, all out if I'm gonna do it. I think the way we're supposed to go is instead of down here, we take that right. your computer or did you buy it outright okay no problem man enjoy your food yeah i feel like that's kind of the way to go is just buy all the parts separately and put it together yourself. So I don't have to fight that thing every time. Only a special emblem opens the main gate. Well, that's depressing. I guess maybe close it after you've completed that section. We'll check down there first. And then close it.
was like five feet away. <sighs> Nuts. Nuts, nuts, nuts. from uh, Prometheus. Give me a fucking break. Oh my god. Let me just take the uh, fucking lantern and go back. I kind of wish games like this were more linear in that fashion, like they wouldn't let you get way away from where you're supposed to be going. This doesn't make any sense, like... Let them get to this entire section, but then then close off a door before a boss fight or anything like that, so you just wasted like an hour. For like absolutely nothing. Actually, let's just go ahead and check straight. We're going the other way. Yeah, that's what I wanted to target, not the guy that was directly in front of me.
that the environment actually hurts you in this game. So is this like actually a shield shield? shield used by the masses who have arisen to join the hunt. Hunters do not normally employ shields ineffectual against the strength of beasts as they tend to be. Shields are nice, but uh, but not if they are in gender passivity. Passivity. If they engender passivity. Passivity. wonder how that works. Torch. It's gotta be a use for the torch. I mean, it can't just be a piece of shit. Maybe they're good on certain enemies.
that before. at some point. Just say, oh shit. I just say, fuck it and upgrade the uh, this cleaver. So you have to be like super fucking close for punish. Like it's gotta be almost immediate shot and then hit with your weapon. Assuming 
these shards are always going to be like super easy to get and probably not a big deal to level these up to like four or five. Assume at least. What's up, Onyx? Thank you for the raid. Hey, Shadow. How was your, uh, your stream, Onyx? I saw you were playing, uh, Digimon. Whoa, whoa. Is that, uh, another one? Trying, uh, trying it out again. It's been a while since I played it. And this is the now the furthest I've ever been. I don't remember this area at all. I'm online. At least I think I am. Pretty sure I am. Uh, I'm on PS5. Well, I, so I guess the PS4 version. God damn. Uh, this way. Yeah, I didn't know that actually. did release it on PS or PC semi recently may I could be wrong though well that's a shame oh wow I totally rolled stairs. Should have just attacked it. Only PS4. Okay. Nice. Not even sure I'm going the right way, honestly.
No, I'm good. I just I'm trying to figure it out for myself. So just uh, playing through. Still not sure what weapon I want to build yet. Did not use the music box. I just outright killed him on the third attempt. I almost killed him on my first attempt. He was literally like one shot away and then he got a nice three three piece on me. And then the second attempt wasn't even close and then the third attempt got him. That's what I said. I'm not trying to play a lullaby. I'm just gonna straight kill this guy. and cleaver. Yeah, I was thinking about cleaver. Right now I'm using a spear, I think. Yeah. Pretty cool though, like playing with the whip just aesthetically. But the damage just seems so weak.
DLC. Oh. <laughs> no, so I started this new thing uh, with the camera where um, I take a screen cap of my character's faces when I make them in games. And then I make a, a face mesh. And so I am my character. So I've built up a couple. Let me load the program back up to switch it. So I have uh, this is my Bloodborne. This is uh, Woods from Call of Duty when I play Cold War. Venom when I play Fortnite. When I play Death Stranding, I've already got his face, Norman Reedus, his face. Then like some joke ones, or actually this is uh, my cyberpunk character's face, and uh, John Wick from Fortnite as well. Then just some joke ones. Here's Tommy Wiseau and uh, Nicholas Cage from Face Off. <laughs> so, made a few different ones just to have something like unique and then I made some new emotes got um rip good game and then I've always liked the uh, the football yellow card like it's like a warning and then I so I made the red a red card or uh, like ban but it's tier 3, so nobody's gonna ever have that. So I figured I'd make it just for myself, because it's kind of like a niche thing. But, um, and then my channel points is the Terminator. I figured I'd spruce some things up. Yeah, I mean, it's possible. Definitely possible. Minor tip for you, use the Hunter's Axe long mode on enemies bigger than you and the cleaver on beasts and things your size. Okay. Yeah, I, have, I haven't even unlocked the axe yet. I didn't buy it yet. So I will keep that in mind. Thank you.
Um, I saw the axe was purchasable, I'm pretty sure. Uh, from the store. I was gonna see if I just ran into it in the wild, but... Yeah, I don't know anything about it, honestly. Outside of the, uh... What I have played, and now this is all blind for me. I have no idea what I'm doing, where I'm going. And I... Uh, yes, I did kill the pig. And then I got a, um... One of these badges. Badge of Workshop Sanctioned Hunter, I think. One of those, I think. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Okay, yeah, because I, I started out with the cane and then I bought the, the cleaver. And I saw that the uh, the axe and stuff were purchasable as well. I just have been spending my uh, blood on, I keep on wanting to say souls, on um, how does, how does that work? I don't know how the pairing mechanic works. Is it only on, like, certain attacks that it actually does anything on? Because it makes a noise regardless, like, anytime you get a hit on him. It's kind of hard to feel it out. See, I got to Old Yarnum, but the door was locked. So I took the, uh, the teleporter, the lan lantern back. That's the gun I have is the blunderbuss. The thing is just I'm not hitting them at the right time. this time like so I just put everything in endurance. <laughs> I just was trying to get to 20 endurance and then go from there. Uh, oh, that was my soul, so I don't need to go fight those dudes anymore. Go back and get to 20 endurance. I could be doing like my build completely wrong. I just I haven't looked up anything. I'm trying to just do it all off the top. Let me. I didn't 
endurance. One question I will ask Farewell, good is, well, you know what? No, I won't ask. I'll just do it. HP continues to recover plus one. I'll save that. Just gonna go with the cleaver. Yeah, that's exactly what I was saying earlier. I was thinking I was going to do 2020 and then whatever weapon I go with, whatever the key thing is, put some more into that until I get to maybe like 20. So, like a 2020 20. So, I guess if I'm going to go clearer, looks like strength would be the way to go. That's kind of what I did for uh, Demon Souls was do um, endurance and vitality, and then uh, just put in strength or you know whatever until I needed it. Now, why did this door open this time, but it didn't open last time? <laughs> 